This afternoon, SpaceX could make history as the first privately owned company to launch two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. It is the first time in nine years astronauts have flown to space from U.S. soil, and it could set the stage, could, for future long-term missions. For more on this historic day, we are joined by York University's Paul Delaney. Great to have you with us. We've missed you here in studio. Good morning, Emery. I miss you too. <laughs> uh, lots of lots of anticipation, excitement, a little bit of fear, maybe ahead of this afternoon. How are you feeling? Uh, I, I feel like I did back in 1981 when I was watching Columbia climb to orbit for the first time. I was lucky enough to watch that live, and I feel the same way today. That watching uh, the Falcon 9 with the Crew Dragon climb to orbit this afternoon, weather permitting, will be an exciting moment. Every space launch, of course, is unique. And there always is that risk associated with it. I mean, it's a huge amount of energy. It's like a bomb that you're riding into orbit. But the Falcon 9 is an incredibly reliable vehicle, and they've been preparing for this day, as you said, for nine years. So lots of confidence there. If this mission is successful, what will that mean for the future of space travel? Well, you and I could be in orbit a few years from now. SpaceX is very, very determined to uh, take a vehicle that is rated for human space flight and not just fly to the International Space Station, which is important. NASA wants to fly to the moon. That's important. But space tourism, you and I going into Earth orbit and potentially humanity going beyond our little area out to Mars, that's all on SpaceX's docket. And so fingers crossed that this is the first step towards a much more expanded effort for human space flight in the very near future. Uh, Paul Delaney, if I'm going to space, I am definitely going to go along with you <laughs> over the past <laughs> nine years. Uh, the U.S., of course, has relied on Russia to get their astronauts to space. Why has it taken so long to get to where we are today? Well, there's, there's a lot of reasons. I mean, the, the main two reasons are a little bit of politics, uh, and that implies money. But doing anything in the space industry is challenging. We can all remember all too vividly space disasters in the past. And we have been told many, many times because of those incidents that everything about space hardware has to be perfect. You know, you've got thousands of thousands of intricate systems within a rocket that have to all perform perfectly. Going from space shuttle to Crew Dragon was not an easy task. That's why NASA get, went, turned to the, um, you know, the private industry, SpaceX, Blue Origin, uh, Boeing, to assist them in doing this. So between politics, money, and just the sheer challenge of doing things in space, it's taken nine years to get us from the end of the shuttle era to today. Paul Delaney, I wish I was with you this afternoon to watch this, uh, to watch this historic launch. Uh, but, you know, we'll be watching it together on separate screens. Anyway, Absolutely. thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.